Christian writes, I have a story in mind that takes place in a popular sports league. It's not based on actual events, it just involves the specific league. Since it's probably very hard to actually get the rights to write about the league, should I write up a script with a made-up league like Any Given Sunday did or other sports movies have in the past? Well, Christian, my answer is this, yes. The sports leagues own their own names and logos, and they have them registered as trademarks. In addition, the leagues generally control the individual team names, logos, and branding as well. As well. Finally, the real players on a professional team have important personality rights that can come into play. So while it's possible to license these things for inclusion in a film, and in some cases it's even possible to make the film without a license, it can involve some serious legal wrangling, or at least securing a legal opinion tied to the specifics of the script. Now some people might suggest that you just write the script that you want to write about the team and league you want to write about the way you want to write it, and let the producer who sets it up decide about the clearances. And that's fine, as long as you make it clear that you've not cleared those rights, and that doing so will be the buyer's responsibility. The trouble with that approach is that you're now saddling the script with this other obligation that the buyer will have to deal with. Obviously that can make the project a little bit more troublesome and less desirable than something that's more turnkey and ready to go without any legal clearance hurdles. So as a practical matter, the path of least resistance is to set the film's events in a fictional league and team. Now that's not to say that you can't include a production note to readers that suggests the piece could actually use the real team and league. Chances are the producer will already have thought of that possibility. 